Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, RC East. I'm just here printing, and uh, I'm always printing, as you know. And I'm here to today to talk about the H2D some more, and why it's so important to me for 3D printing. So, the biggest reason for that is the bed size. That's Everyone knows about that, and I'm loving the H-series printers that Bamboo Lab has put out. I'm also going to tell you about an accessory I bought. Um, you can get it even on Amazon, so that's simple. We'll talk about that too. But one of the main reasons that the H2D is so much better than the X1C printers is it can do the jobs when it comes to my RC stuff for the really tall stuff or the really wide stuff. For example, I've been talking about this a lot. It's my OBS body. It's I've been working on this for like two months trying to get the files right and. Uh, as you can see it's pretty slick but it's also huge like even without the uh, fenders on it's still way above what uh, the X1C can print also guys when it comes to multicolor prints the H2D just kicks butt on the uh, X1C's and I'll show you some examples of that too I'll grab each one and I'll show it to you and tell you a little bit about the time frames and why it's so much more important to go ahead and get yourself an H2D over one of the uh, X1Cs unless you're just doing a lot of single color prints or just not a lot of printing at all. It saves so much time and filament that it almost pays for itself, with, well, in the first little while anyways. So let's get into that. So I'll just go ahead and show you a couple models that I've done and tell you about the time frame difference uh, X1C versus uh, H2D up there. Um, perfect example is these Urban Vibes characters that I've been doing. I fell down that rabbit hole, guys. But anyways, so uh, here's Donald. Check out his shoes. Okay, multicolor print. I was going to do that on the X1C. It was like 13 hours. Under 5 hours in the Bamboo uh, H2D. So... Same with all the models, guys, that I've done. And they're big. You know what I mean? I could have done them in full print. Her shoes, another example, would have been over 13 hours. I checked that this morning. But no, I got it done in about five hours. Hers were a little bit trickier, and I'm not sure why, because they were smaller. But same thing, Mickey. I, I did them all, guys. I did the whole crew. I'm working on Mini. That's what's in the printers right now. Multicolor print. I'll show you that here in a second. And... Uh, it's just so important that uh, I. A lot of people said that they're they're slower, but that depends on what you're doing. If you're multicolor printing, there's not a chance that it's slower. So uh, I'm going to show you Goofy too, guys. Check this out. Same thing. Would have been a huge long print in the X1C, just the shoes. But no, did them in the H2D. Was done in I think it was like. His were a little bigger. I think they were, it was like over five hours, but still less than half the time in the other. So that's awesome, guys. I also did a bunch of full prints, too. I'll show you that right now. So the model that I made is this one. It was three colors, and if I wanted to do it in the X1C, it was, uh, I think it was like almost four days. And in here, in the H2D, was one full day, like just 24 hours, like just under 24 hours. So here's what he looks like. It's a Boston Terrier Urban Vibes character. I made it in chat GPT. Um, I used the, I just saw online people were using the image maker on there and I said, make me a urban character that looks like my dog. And I put a picture of my dog and this is what it came back with. Took that, went into uh, Maker World and uh, there's an option to turn your 3D design into a model. So I did that and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got little sunglasses and stuff. Um, but uh, it was awesome, guys, to, to see this thing at work. And I'll show you the new build plates I got, too, which made it really convenient because you don't got to worry about the, the model coming unhooked. You know, you do a long print, something comes unhooked, falls down, and you, you feel pretty defeated if you've got 20 hours into it. So I'll show you that right now. All right, guys, sorry if it's a little loud. The printer door is open. I usually don't open them while they're printing, even if it's PLA. don't need to with my ventilation. It's a BIQU frostbite plate for PLA and PETG, and I'm doing a multicolor print right now. It's mini, like I said before. 
Um, that's her sweater there doing it in Adidas, multicolor shoes. That's her socks. You know, just a fun model. I'd, I'm just playing around, guys, with the multicolor prints because they're so much quicker. As you can see, it's switching right now. It really just cleans off the nozzle, comes over, throws a little bit on the tower, goes back at it, and it's so much quicker. And uh, anyways, point of the story is, guys, these build plates right here are awesome. You don't need brims or anything, guys. You got to get yourself one of those. I also got the uh, the one for ABS and uh, you know more stronger, hotter filaments. I'll show you that here in a minute. So. Um, but yeah, the Cryro Grip plates, guys, you can get them on Amazon. Also, you can get them on their website here. I'll put links in the description. These build plates, they complete the H2D. Um, I want them for the X1Cs, but I'm really thinking about, guys, getting the H2C, which comes out later this month. Um, I don't have all the info on that, but I'm definitely wanting one of those because this one's so much faster doing multicolor prints. Can you imagine how many colors I'll be able to stick into one print? And still have my printer not down for days and days and days. So let's look at the other build plate. I'll dig it down off the shelf. So guys, this build plate is called the Pro Glacier. And the reason why this one's going to be so good is because I do a lot of ABS and, uh, you know, PETG. Even though the other plate's capable of PETG, you're not supposed to go that high of temperatures. Also, you, the other plate, you can only clean it with soap and water. And this plate right here, you can clean it with alcohol. All the same stuff you do with the uh, regular build plate. And uh, the best part is, is uh, you can go lower temps with these guys. And it's going to hold and it's going to, you know, less chance of warping. And I think that's awesome. Um, like, for example, uh, it says it's good up to 300 degrees Celsius, which I never do anyways. But uh, I'm really excited about this one, guys. This one's going to come in in one of my videos. Watch for my uh, shorts. I'll show this plate in action. I'm going to go ahead and set that down. And uh, we'll talk about the H2D some more. But that's one of the main things you should get yourself. Um, I'm not sure if Bamboo is going to release their own versions of it. I wish they would. Um, I bought their high tack plates for the X1Cs with my last filament order. And I'm going to try them out. But I can already tell just by looking at them, they're not made the same. Um, they're much like this build plate here. Um, they're a little bit harder where the frostbite plate is like almost got like a rubber coating on it guys and I you don't got to use no bed glue nothing like that it, nothing comes off it I haven't had anything fall over and I've been printing some stuff that was like laid right on an angle so get yourself those guys I'll put links in the description and uh, yeah let's flip this baby around and talk some more about the H2D so I'm not going to go on forever about why I love this so much more I'm definitely getting the H2C guys as soon as I can. I wanted the H2S until I seen that. And for me, um, a lot of people are saying, oh, you're gonna lose space on your build plate. I mean, most of the stuff I'm doing is IRC. It can fit into that section. I'm not sure how much more I'll lose, but I think I'd want them all. I think I'd want an H2C and H2S and H2D obviously. And uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with these printers here if you're looking for something like that. The new P2S is, pretty killer it's got the same hot end as the h2d and that looks awesome too guys they they're just they're top of the pack guys like the stuff that they're coming out with um you know everything has its issues they're working it out there's firmware updates all the time but uh, what i love the most guys is i'm able to print stuff like this and it comes out clean like this is h2d like and no sanding yet guys i'm gonna sand it of course and and uh do it but like look at that like that's clean this is PETG here ABS here and uh, you know no warping or minimal on this one but it was a test print anyways this is my last test print on these I'll show you the bed it looks pretty killer too um, watch for the shorts on this on my social media guys I've been like putting these together functional tailgate and everything anyways PETG on the inside ABS on the outside you can kind of see the PETG is a lot brighter white Anyways, point of the story is, guys, is you can do some huge stuff. I can do this thing all in one piece in there, guys. I, I was That was a dream when it came to the X1C. I'd have to split it all up. Then you're gluing stuff together. You're not able to get stuff as scale looking. Uh, you know, there's always a little spot where you're going to have to put more putty in. And the the bigger they get, guys, and the, the more functions they have, they're, you know, pretty soon we're going to be able to print a school bus. Like, you know what I mean? I'm pretty excited about it, guys. So, yeah. 
So follow through guys and, and keep an eye on my videos. I'm not going to go on for days here about the features. They're available to see and uh, you know, watch my videos guys. The proof's in the pudding. I, I do a lot of time lapse videos. I'm going to post more to my YouTube. Um, I've been focusing a lot more on social media guys. There's a lot more interaction there I find and uh, people can ask me questions directly where on my YouTube they, they'll ask, I'll answer and then usually you don't hear from them again. So. But yeah, I've been trying every type of filament I can throw at this thing, guys. I even bought some uh, Amazon fil filament uh, just for the simple fact that uh, I couldn't get the right skin color for the uh, some of the faces I want to do on these characters. And I just honestly set it to the same settings as the Bamboo Lab uh, filament. And it's in there right now, and it's killing it. So um, we'll see how it goes. I don't really want to say too much on that yet. But guys, yeah... If you're out printing and you want to do multicolor prints, do some of these things. They're friggin' awesome, guys. Like, look at this thing. The guy's got the files on cults. Um, I forget his name. It's not that big a deal. I'm sure you could find them. Urban Vibes. I'm going to do the whole set. I'm going to probably do 50 of the damn things. I like them. But, yeah, I've been throwing everything at the H2D. It's got um, a lot of hours on it now. Um, I'm, I'm probably hitting close to 400 hours on it now. I've been just hammering down on this thing. And uh, no problems yet, guys. And uh, that's what I wanted, reliability. And I had it with these guys. And uh, this one here is just about out of warranty. Like I think it's like today or tomorrow. That one's still warrantied for a couple more weeks. And again, they've had minimal problems. Just your normal wear and tear. Alright guys, we're well, going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for, for more prints. Watch for me to be putting out the video when I got this finalized. I have a lot of people asking about that OBS and uh, when I'm going to be selling the files, which I'm not, and when I'm going to be selling the bodies. So you can find all that on my social media. Um, as I'm growing, uh, I'm going to need more space for printers if I decide to go that route and sell a bunch of bodies. So don't worry about that, guys. I've been thinking about it. And I didn't show you this guy for the end of it. It's coming into Christmas. Check this guy out. Another one of those characters I made off of uh, Maker World. Uh, you know, you can mesh anything on there, guys. And this guy's split in pieces. So, he, you know, he wasn't that bad. Just, I think it was five or six hours to make this. Uh, you know, the shirt being the biggest part. So, all right, guys. So subscribe, follow, share, whatever you want to do. Go check out my social medias. Links are in my bio, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll have more information on this as I go. And if I come across anything that I really don't like, then I'll let you know that too. But I, so far, there's been nothing that's uh, what I call a deal breaker. And uh, I didn't expect there would be. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.